Scientific modelling produced by the federal government has revealed the dramatic reduction in coronavirus transmission rates caused by Australia's strict control measures. But it also shows how quickly the virus would begin spreading if physical distancing restrictions were lifted. Here's our national medical reporter, Sophie Scott, with more. Hi, Sophie. So give us the good news first, then. How well are we travelling in terms of transmission rates? Yes, that's right. Look, the news is good. The modelling news was good. What it showed was for every 10 people who had the virus that they would only go on to infect five other people. What the modelling showed was that if we hadn't had the restrictions in place that we do have, that those 10 people would have gone on to infect 25 people. And then you can see that those 25 would go on to infect more and more and more. So you can see just from those numbers that what we're doing is working. And the figure that they use, it's called effective reproduction rate. And that means that how many people are likely to, to become infected as a result of one person. And what the government wants to do is to keep the effective reproduction rate at below one. And that's the case at the moment. And what they'll look at doing is keeping it at below one while we have these restrictions in place. And the, the modelers from the Doherty Institute have said that this really shows that the measures that we have in place as difficult as they are, mm. it actually means we're doing really well in stopping the spread of the, the transmission. We're not getting the rates of transmission that you've seen in other countries around the world. So according to the modelling, what would happen now if some of those restrictions were relaxed? Well, look, it's, it's difficult to say. It's highly likely that the rates would go up which is why the government is going to be very cautious in lifting any restrictions. They talked about having a, a four-week period, and during the next four weeks, there's a couple of things that will need to be achieved before we look at reducing any of the restrictions. So they want to look at boosting testing. So at the moment, um, there's, there's different regimes for testing around different states, but effectively what will happen is that anyone who has any flu-like symptoms will be able to get tested. Mm. They'll also look at doing sentinel testing, which is where you, uh, they look at trying to predict where the virus is going to pop up. And so that can be even random testing. So someone who doesn't have any symptoms at all. Then they're gonna look at the tracing aspect of things. So that is the app that we've heard about where the government, um, it's a voluntary app that the government's hoping that 40% of us will download. And that will then also be able to trace who has the virus and where it's spreading and it'll, it'll sort of augment the work that's being done by public health units around the country at the moment to do the what they call contact tracing. And then the third element that they're looking at is boosting the capability. So, for example, like in the northwest of Tasmania at the moment, you've got the outbreak there and you've seen a lot of resources put into that area and also effectively people locked down. So those three elements will need to be put in place. The effective reproduction number will need to stay below one. And sort of only then will I think the government look at reducing some of the restrictions we have. Okay. And when it comes to what those restrictions might be, they've given us a bit of an indication in the uh, interview that the Prime Minister did last night on 7.30. He indicated that things like, say, construction and manufacturing might be able to be ramped up again. Uh, also, some retail might be able to open again. And that we might see more people back at work. But it's a balancing act between getting the economy going again, but also not undoing the good work that we've done with keeping these numbers, these transmission numbers, at such a low rate. So that's the, the fine balancing act that we're going to see in the next couple of weeks. Sophie, thanks.